Purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at Purposely.com. If our world were a pot on the stove, I would say it's boiling over maybe. How about you? Welcome to the Bible for Busy People. I'm Erica, your host, here to remind you that while chaos seems to reign in this world, our God is still sitting on his throne and he is not wringing his hands. He's not surprised by anything that's happening as you look down in your social media newsfeed. And I just want to remind you today that God is the lifter of your head and my head. That's one of his names. And it's beautiful, isn't it? Sometimes it's easy to look down in despair when we consider everything going on in our country, in our world as a whole. There are wars raging, right? But you know what? In heaven, there is no panic only plans. God has a good plan. And I like what Billy Graham says. I've read the last page of the Bible. Everything is going to be okay. And you can know that too. It is time if you haven't done it before to put your faith in Jesus Christ. We're going to study more about our God this week, but I would be remiss if I didn't encourage you to put your faith in in the Lord Jesus. I do believe that rough times are ahead for this old world. The Bible says this old world is going to pass away, but the man who does the will of God lives forever. And in the meantime, we have a promise. Another one of God's names, we're going to study a whole bunch of them this week, but camp out on one, is Emmanuel. We hear this at Christmas in the songs, even at the grocery store, you'll hear the word Emmanuel. It means God with us. And it's not just true for Christmas time. It's true for right now, summer 2024, Christmas in July, as it were, and all times, God is with you. And without further ado, I want to introduce the name of God we are going to be camping out on this week, the Lord our protector. Yes, we need to remember that the Lord is protecting us right now and that he is with us. Join me in Psalm 121, beginning in verse one. I look up to the mountains. Does my help come from there? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let you stumble. The one who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel never slumbers or sleeps. That means that tonight, by the way, you can go to sleep knowing that God is watching over you. Woo! That's a wonderful image to take with you before you close your eyes tonight. Verse five, the Lord himself watches over you. The Lord stands beside you as your protective shade. I want to put a bookmark there by protective shade. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon at night. The Lord keeps you from all harm and watches over your life. The Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go both now and forever. What a beautiful psalm. And I want to go back to verse five. The Lord stands beside you as your protective shade shade. Another translation says, the Lord is the shade at your right hand. This verse is so powerful. One time God gave me a lovely picture of it. When I saw a dad walking with his baby in a stroller and he had put a blanket over the hood of the stroller to shield his child from the hot sun. And I remember thinking, Wow, that father reminds me of God, our good, good father, who shields us and protects us and watches over us and keeps us from harm. The Lord himself watches over you. We just learned. That's a powerful picture. But there's something I never noticed before until recently. Over and over, the Bible tells you, tells me that God takes hold of our hand. I am blown away by this because, again, you can see a parent with a cute little toddler holding their hand, and maybe you can even imagine the toddler looking up at their dad and smiling and trusting their dad. Well, think about it. The Lord is the shade at your right hand. Do you realize, I'm getting the good goose bumps, the good chills, that the Lord is holding your hand and you are in His shade. You are protected 
by his presence. He is all around you, right beside you. So why not let his beautiful, cooling shadow overshadow everything you're worried about right now? Trust him to watch over you. I want to continue to study this beautiful idea of God being our protective shade, the shade at our right hand. I want to invite you to join me in Isaiah chapter 30, beginning in verse one. What happens when we go outside to look for shade elsewhere? Okay, here we go. Verse one, what sorrow awaits my rebellious children, says the Lord. You make plans that are contrary to mine. You make alliances not directed by my spirit, thus piling up your sins. For without consulting me, you have gone down to Egypt for help. You have put your trust in Pharaoh's protection. You have tried to hide in his shade. Oh, Lord, I just want to say right now, I am so sorry for looking for shade elsewhere outside of you, outside of your glorious will for my life. And I repent of that. I want to only look to you, Lord, for protection and wisdom and love and all of the things so often I look to others for. Thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to wrap up our time together today in Isaiah chapter 30, beginning in verse 18. So the Lord must wait for you to come to him so he can show you his love and compassion for the Lord is a faithful God. Blessed are those who wait for his help. O people of Zion who live in Jerusalem, you will weep no more. He will be gracious if you ask for help. He will surely respond to the sound of your cries. Though the Lord gave you adversity for food and suffering for drink, he will still be with you to teach you. You will see your teacher with your own eyes. Your own ears will hear him. Right behind you, a voice will say, this is the way you should go, whether to the right or to the left. Aren't you thankful? that the Lord is the shade at your right hand today. I sure am. Until next time, you are loved. Thank you for making time for the Bible for Busy People today. If being part of this community is a blessing to you, it's super easy to share this podcast with someone you love. We're all about spreading the hope of Jesus like butter. So if you've got a moment to write a review, boy, we'd really appreciate that. Maybe you need a little prayer today or you're ready to take that next step with God. I invite you to check out our show notes. You're going to find lots of encouragement there. This podcast is one branch on a tree called Purposely, a podcast network designed with practical podcasts to help you find and thrive in God's purpose for your life. If you've got a pulse, you've got a purpose.